Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the three medications that I'm on to thin out my facial hair and body hair and to clear up my skin. Okay, so the first thing I do want to mention is I have obviously polycystic ovarian syndrome, as you guys can see by the title, and that is an imbalance of hormones. But I did want to say millions of women have polycystic ovarian syndrome anywhere from mild to severe and not really know. I was diagnosed at the age of 15 with polycystic ovarian syndrome and growing up I did have more facial hair than the average person I think I would say. I also did have hair like on my chest but very fine almost fuzz. I was put on metformin which didn't help also I was put on birth control pills and I was on the famous Yaz pill at the time which was now recalled. Fast forward to now, I'm 30 years old and I'm not on anything. I have done the progesterone challenge, which if you guys don't know, it helps to reset your cycle in a sense. It's a 10 day progesterone challenge. And I was on that a few days ago. So now I am currently waiting for, you know, my cycle to be reset. The thing I'm going to talk about is something I don't have because I'm out of them, but I'll pop a picture up right here. So I have been on spirolactone, and I'll also put the definition here so you guys can read about it. So spirolactone is a pill I take once a day, and mine is a 50 milligram dose, and I take it in the morning, and that helps me with my facial or my body hair. I've been on it off and on for about two years. Now the thing with spirolactone is you have to be careful just because it does it's it's harsh on your liver so every month to two months i'm constantly checking how my liver levels are doing i know there's two doses there's the 50 milligram and the 100 milligram the 100 milligram was too strong for me so i jumped down to the 50 milligram and again i've been taking that spirulactone for about two years or so what have i seen results wise taking the spirulactone everything that they say happens will happen meaning thinning of the hair to almost gone. The biggest insecurity right now since I did stop electrolysis is my chin. My chin is has two dark spots which I have no makeup on so you guys can kind of see. I didn't do anything so you guys can see better. So you guys can see there's a little bit of like ingrowns and stuff like that right on my chin in here. I was on just spirulactone for a very long time, didn't take any tropical nothing because the medication was strong enough to get rid of everything that I was insecure about. Now, I've been on these two other medications for the past eight months now. First tropical medication I'm gonna show you guys is clindamycin. Again, I'll pop up a cue card, what it does and what it is used for. I absolutely love this for my red spots. So this helps to alleviate you know just the bumpiness of my skin anywhere you shave and you have like red spots this alleviates that too i'm able to put this all over my body you know my underarms my inner thighs my face this goes on in the morning and at night the second medication i'm on as well is called tretinoid which is retin-a cream i have the one percent i know there is a lower percentage that you can get as well but this is the one i am currently on and i have been and this is the best thing ever this is what cleared my face now the way you apply this cream is once every night bare face and in the morning you have to rinse off your face so i treated the tretinoid cream as a light chemical peel so for 30 days i did not wear any face makeup nothing no moisturizer no nothing and yes i was working during that time and let me tell you i looked gross but i do want to say you peel so bad with the tretinoid cream i'm gonna say the first week i started peeling right away and i'm talking about layers and layers of skin coming off like it was really really taking out all the junk i had in my face the only way you can get this cream is through prescription so i used to have really bad severe acne growing up again because of the picos and then just like the imbalance of hormones and getting older and um it was really bad like we're talking about lumps and cystic acne that really crippled me and really really made me self-conscious about my face so once i started doing tretinoid cream 
again like I did it for the 30 30 days the first week I was starting to peel like crazy all here and on my chin but let me just tell you guys if you guys can do it even for a week you will see results in the first week like I did I don't regret it and that is probably my favorite tropical cream I have ever done and like I mentioned I was on another one that was really expensive and didn't really work as well as the tretinoid cream did I'm not currently on tretinoid cream I stopped using it three weeks ago I am now kind of cycling it so we bet I will be back on it in another week and I don't do my whole face like I did before. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, make sure to comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on social media, which is always right here. As always, good vibes from my heart to yours and I'll see you in the next video.